Heading through the 10 o'clock hour on a very gusty Tuesday, peak wind gusts of 51 miles per hour recorded today in the Fargo Moorhead area. Now you're looking at what we're turning our attention to and it's happening out west. Uh, look at our storm team SkyCam network expands across the nation actually and this is from our sister station KFYR in Bismarck showing the low clouds, the mist, fog and wet roads that are around and it looks like that's how we'll start our day tomorrow. But for now most of us are staying on the dry side. Here is a look at what we are watching heading through the week. Tonight, the gusty winds will taper off a little bit. Clouds will increase and there'll be some sprinkles moving in out west. On Wednesday, it looks like a wet day and for some areas should be about around an inch or so of rainfall, particularly in our eastern counties. And now after that, we turn our attention to Halloween after a couple of quiet days. Could be a couple of flakes, but we've issued a first alert weather day because of the cold and the wind that those trick or treaters will have to battle and parents too. more details on all of that coming up. Here is a look at the radar. First and foremost, as you saw in Bismarck, there's some light showers taking place, low clouds, but not showing much on the radar. That's mainly out to the west in the oil patch from that Williston area and heading up into the uh, Divide County area all the way down towards Stark County and Dickinson. Now as we look into our area for wind speeds where you see the colors still gusts upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour. It is tapering off out to the west where Jamestown has a 10 mile per hour wind at this hour. 50s still with the wind and the clouds building in, so we're not cooling off too quickly. 40s on either side of the Red River Valley as we head into the overnight hours. And your current conditions at Hector shows winds gusting to 26 miles per hour. Dew point temperatures here in Fargo and points east are very low. The air is very dry. Those clouds out to the west will be trying to uh, drop some raindrops through it and evaporate some moisture into it and saturate the air mass, we call it. And that will take a bit of time, so we won't see rain until we get closer to the wee hours of daybreak. And then have the windshield washer juice topped off, the umbrellas handy, and bundle up those kids because we're looking at 40s to start the day. That's not too far from where we are right now, but we'll have periods of moderate rain moving northward and maybe even at times heavy rain showers working their way through. They'll continue to pass through mid morning. As you see here, I paused it in the nine o'clock hour and then we continue with rain throughout much of our viewing area as we go through the midday hour. Best chance at staying dry will be in our westernmost counties. You'll have soggy conditions, but not nearly as wet as your neighbors in the valley and points east into Minnesota, where the rain will not clear out until after the 10 o'clock hour from west to east. We'll stay cloudy all day. Temperatures pretty much hovering in the 40s for most of us. How much rain? From the valley and points east, we're talking about a quarter of an inch to over an inch where you see the greens. Notice how close this is to places like Sabin, Fargo, Holly. Yeah, we have a shot at a good old inch of rain here off to the west. We'll have a trace to around a quarter of an inch. Fargo, mid 40s. Then we top it off in the upper 40s. Rain on and off all day, periodically moderate to heavy, particularly in the mid morning hours, again in the mid afternoon hours. With temperatures for most in the 40s, we could see 50 degrees out west where that rain chance is just a pinch lower. And boy, we had some beautiful sunny uh, sunrise shots taken. Paula sharing this one from Fergus Falls. Delightful color in that. Thanks for sharing all your photos. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Thursday breezy and 52, 53 on Friday. The average temperatures are around 50 degrees. Saturday looks delightful. The pick day of the weekend, but on Sunday, a cold front moves through. Gusty northwest winds over 30 miles per hour. Temperatures most of the day in the 30s have us issuing a first alert weather day for all your ghosts and goblins. And look at this, highs only in the 30s next week. Now be prepared for a big change that begins on Sunday. Coming up right after the break, we'll have more news and, of course, sports. Stay tuned. Valley News Live continues right after this.